There's something new and fun happening at the Tuscaloosa Center for Technology, especially if you like cars. Kathleen Houston is here from the Tuscaloosa Center for Technology to tell me more about it. And before we go any further, we're not even going to be calling it the Tuscaloosa Center for Technology anymore very soon, correct? Very soon. In August, we'll open our Tuscaloosa Career Technology Academy. No, we and don't. we're very excited. This is 120,000 square feet plus of a new facility that's going to not only is it a new facility but it's also has a wonderful new programs we have 11 academies including an engineering academy um, that uh, is medical service uh, science academy um, we've got IT academy um, and hospitality and tourism we've got just an awful lot of academies now that we've seen there's 11 and we're really excited about the opportunities it's going to offer our students and the students of Tuscaloosa and um, hopefully that will pay in back to our community what they have invested into this facility. There so, we go and this is the nice new facility right here it and is. the public's first opportunity to kind of come in and get a look at things uh, you guys have a really fun event that you've put together that's happening tomorrow, right? Yes, that's actually, it's going to be Saturday, and it's actually um, at our old facility. Um, we're going to have the car show, mm -hmm. and this is uh, something we're trying to have a rebirth of. We used to do this long ago, and I understand, and we're trying to get some more interest. So we are having a, ho a, a car show on Saturday, and it's going to have pro cars in it and street cars and show cars, but it's going to be fun, free to free time for the family, 11 to 3, at, that's our James, at the 1300 James I. Harrison site. All right, and that's the Tuscaloosa Center for Technology. That's going to, yes, sir. Gotcha. And this one is, is, is where? That one will be opened mm -hmm. in August. In August, okay. In oh, August. Gotcha, gotcha. So, but I do think, yes, the media did get to see it this week, or they're going to see it. Excellent. Well, that is good. And this is, this is exciting. I mean, this it is, is very a big, exciting. beautiful building, isn't it? It is. And we worked very long and hard to try to, we worked with our architects and, visited many places to try to make sure we got everything just right and that um, I think that we've got a great facility that will service our community in many, many different ways. Now, I'm, I'm glad that <clears throat> you guys got this up and running because it took a little while for everybody to get on the same page with it. It did. So I'm happy that there's a, a nice new building for you guys to be in. And, but it's and nice do. new programs to go along with the building. Absolutely. That's what's so exciting now, the programs. Are you guys still going to have your television program? We are. We're Good. actually expanding that to also include animation so Ooh. the kids can do animation animation or they can do the film industry we're doing the media digital media and film which is a little bit different twist trying to get again our kids ready for the the new area uh, new of uh, everything is based on our projected workforce needs for the next 15 to 20 years for our region state and national level there you go so everything is data-based all right super Thanks so much for being with Thank us, Thank you. Kathy. I appreciate the opportunity very much. The kids may have to make me an animation. I, <laughs> I need one for Richard. All right. You can check out tomorrow's Hot Riders on Saturday, May 11th at the Tuscaloosa Center for Technology. The show starts at 11 a.m. You can find out more by calling 205-759-3648. <laughs>